Hey beautiful people, love and light to all of you. I welcome you all back to the Author on Travel. Namaste from my side. Hope you're doing great. This is about Leh Ladakh. Yes, Leh Ladakh, the most dreamt of destination for the thrill seekers, bikers and adventurers. It's been really beautiful. So this is a fresh vlog and blog. So I'm giving the link which I've already written on my website. You can go in detail and check in there. Uh, apart from that, this is a vlog wherein we'll be talking about the fresh routes, the cost, uh, from where you can rent the bikes and a lot more about this beautiful barren land, the mecca for the bikers and adventure seekers. So stay tuned. because information is the key the right information is the key so show your support and love for this as well coming to the video now Leh Ladakh is a union territory now post the defunct of the article 370 if you want to really read about uh, in detail about the article 370 and what was it and what were the repercussions and what did the Indian government actually did by making Leh Ladakh a UT uh, for India you can go to this uh, link which I have given and you can read the entire blog here the rule for the bikers and the adventure seekers and the thrills never change when it comes to Leh Ladakh. The adrenaline rush uh, for the biking, the thrill and to go to these barren lands doesn't end anywhere. The land of high passes is Leh Ladakh and here I bring you the fresh guide for the bikers and adventures. Talking about the journey, of course the Leh Ladakh bike trip journey is memorable and immensely beautiful, passing the stunning meadows. Uh, but not the one which is pampering, pampering enough to you know soothe your senses. Yes, why I'm saying that? Rather, it you're gonna test your fortitude and your grit and your gusto on the road, and it may make you feel a little frizzy or a dizzy at times. Now, don't get afraid on it. You may suffer some altitude sickness also. So you like I'm giving a shot to it to your people because people who would be going for the first time, uh, they should know that this may happen. But nothing to worry about it. It can be tackled perfectly fine. You need to take care uh, of your bums also while you're sitting on the bikes. It's super important because the bike ride would be a bumpy ride, you know. Uh, be uh, like even if you are riding or uh, or if you are a pillion rider. So both the ways, it would be a little bumpy ride for you. So make sure that you're well prepared of all these nitty-gritties when you go uh, to Leh Ladakh bike bike adventure travel. <coughs> Nevertheless, having said this, the journey will gonna change the way you see the world. Yes, trust me, I've been there twice. It's amazing. As you make the journey of your lifetime, you're gonna be experiencing the vivid culture and the terrain and it will gonna grab you the experience for your lifetime and to infinity. One more heads up for you. The punches to the bike's, bike's battery, you know, that can be fallen on the ground and you may have a drastic weather changes at the never ending hurdles uh, of the, you know, the Pagal Nalas, the glacier melting and etc, etc. These variables are frequent and they're countless and that can go wrong also. Uh, again, I would say, don't get afraid, I'm just giving a heads up before we start the journey of Leh Ladakh. This uh, will be a quick guide uh, that will be really helpful to you to conquer the highest motorable roads in the world that you will gonna find in the high land of the passes and the land of the stupas, the Leh Ladakh. Talking about the best time to visit to Leh Ladakh, a lot of people question and they comment on my blogs also. So I'm gonna tell you, the best time to go on the bike trip for Leh Ladakh is from the June to the September bracket or maximum till uh, 20th of October or 15th or mid or maximum end of the October all right because post that <clears throat> the snow starts uh, you know assembling onto the peaks uh, on the lower ranges of uh, the barren land and that makes the driving super tough all right on the bike now these months they facilitate uh, the bikers to enjoy the best of the Ladakh so as much as they enjoy the bike to the Lahore and the city this is the time right for the Leh Ladakh bikers and the uh, adventure seekers. Nonetheless, most of the riders love to initiate that crazy journey of the bikes and rides with Beladak and offers this magical landscape and undying the stars of all over the terrain during the season. So these are the best times when you can visit. How many days are sufficient for a normal bike ride trip? Like for how long we should take uh, the leave or we arrange the funds and the budget and how long, which is the route we need to take. A lot of questions keep pouring on the blogs. So I thought that let me cut it down in the like you know the points and make it for you. So the first we spoke about the season, the best time to visit. Now we're gonna see that you know ideally how many days uh, you should actually plan your Leila Dark trip. 
well ideally 10 to 12 days uh, are enough you know if you're riding uh, your uh, journey uh, from Manali or Shimla or Srinagar but if you're intending to ride from Chandigarh or Delhi then 15 days or so is enough for you to take a bike ride uh, to Ladakh. Now this all depends actually on the factors like the weather condition uh, in which season you are traveling like we discussed before and the, the halls you are taking what is the selection of the bike the stays over you know how many nights you tend to spend at a particular location or the night halls and etc and what type of also the speed matters you know so when you are riding alone uh, then the speed differs and when you have a pillion with you the speed differs now it depends on the rider so speed is also one of the factors that how the rider can pull up uh, the kilometers per hour because the roads are steep and they're twisty so that that's very important to consider when you are taking a bike trip uh, to later that I would suggest plan a trip with the maps in hand that you have, okay? Because at times you won't get the internet also, or you save the offline Google Maps. If you wanted to know how, I'm going to show you that as well. Uh, put the comment and uh, let me know. I'm going to send you the details also. Else you can also contact the reliable travel agents and they're going to help you with uh, the maps and the local itinerary for the trip. Uh, but ideally, I think it's not uh, necessary. But if you want, uh, I have certain contacts uh, I'm giving in the description. You can contact them. You will uh, also have uh, to customize your trips accordingly. Why? Because uh, as I mentioned again, from which part of the uh, part of India, especially you're traveling, and uh, if you are a foreigner, then the rules a little bit differ. Coming to the cost now, money, the budget. It's always important how much you um, spend and how much you have in your hand. Now this uh, this cost part, you know, like it's very tricky. You know, I have I've been watching and continuously. Uh, seeing a lot of uh, bloggers and uh, different content creators that do an amazing job and work based on the budget and the money and etc. But you know, uh, the real fun or the real tricky part is that it depends how much money or budget you have to travel. Every travel need is different, every traveler is different, every tourist is different, every adventure seeker is different. People like me, they spend money on experience. I've been traveling like for uh, 14 years now and I started traveling uh, when uh, the drones and the Instagram and uh, uh, what do we say the DSLRs or all this was not that in fashion I would say so I know and I have never traveled for photographs until I started making this uh, content for people but not that crazy enough I still don't have a lot of drone shots and etc okay so uh, so that's all. okay coming to uh, the cost part it's a tricky one uh, for every traveler I was seeing but in its own way the cost depends on the accommodation which you choose number one then the type of bike you are taking on the rent it's very important the food bills the permits the what do we say the fuel the shopping uh, <clears throat> etc so the, all this will gonna include the overall cost and you wanna you know um, make your cost a little higher uh, somewhere around 35 to 40 K or maybe 42 K per person uh, in these uh, pandemic times and the tourism and etc I think uh, uh, this would suffice per person on a normal economical budget to the bike trip and I've included everything into it this has uh, permits fuel miscellaneous expenses the shopping so everything yeah. coming to the selection of bikes selection of bikes is again a cost factor and uh, in what you're comfortable to ride in bike lovers basically in the ultra bike lovers you know they go for Himalayan bikes then uh, the selection uh, uh, also depends for the first timers because it's very important that for the first time you choose a bike in which you're comfortable because I'm again I'm just warning that though the roads are fantastic the highways are spectacular but they're twists they're turns and they are steep they're steady they are everything they're zigzag they're maze you'll find a lot of uh, types of terrains and they like that so uh, rather than just going for the popularity or some friend said or I saw a picture on Instagram you know standing and shooting on it okay don't do that for the real thrill for the real uh, fun for traveling and to really experience the roads go for the bike in which you're comfortable to ride in and if you're a pillion you need to think about the pillion rider as well nothing is important than your safety guys so make sure you choose the bike which is uh, comfortable for you to ride in it's uh, recommended Royal Enfield, a bike with an engine of either 350cc or 500cc will be great. Royal Enfield Himalayan, a 400cc engine that will surely make your ride the finest and trouble free on the rugged terrain of Leh Ladakh. Just a suggestion for the pillions, take a trial on the back seat. Else you're gonna hurt yourself badly. If you aren't comfortable with that, then don't go ahead with this. Yeah, for the riders, the solo riders, it's the best.
then uh, sometimes people ride bajaj pulsar also it's like actually most liked uh, bike after the bullets you know otherwise bullets are my favorite but i'm just giving you an option in in case you're suitable for or your convenience is uh, the pulsar so pulsar has variants now so you can choose any which is uh, reliable uh, for you and for your partner then you have ktm duke the bike is lightweight bike then it can be worthwhile for the roads for leh ladakh and it comes with a lot of variants like duke 390 duke 250 and the new variants are also there to ride on then cbr 250 the bike from honda is certainly a cracker just be careful of its uh, contigo tires you know because uh, when uh, which can be really a bit tough one um, uh, to handle in the change of uh, weather because the weather changes uh, drastically in uh, this terrain so just make sure that uh, you know you're comfortable with that you know checking every bit of it but if you really want to change the tire you can put the bike stock and fi technology and it's immensely useful and favorable tourism again is picking up pace uh, post the pandemic so uh, taking bikes on rent is pretty easy now and you can take them uh, on rent from delhi chandigarh manali shimla shrinagar uh, and leh as well but that the bikes need a permit so don't forget to take the permit from shrinagar separately from leh as the association will not gonna allow you or with the bikes from shrinagar so then make sure before you go uh, uh, you need to check with the local leh administration of the current rules about permits and routes so you need to submit a id uh, valid id proof or government id proof like aadhar card and all uh, that would work then the valid driving license it's uh, it's a mandate then a consent letter sometimes and a deposit if the rental company asks for all right ideally the charges uh, ranges from somewhere around 900 rupees to 1800 rupees per day depending on the bike which you take and uh, if you're going from delhi karol bagh uh, that is a prime hub uh, for rentals when you're manali you will gonna get it near to the mall road this lot of and near to the bus stand so make sure you uh, take from there then in may you'll find numerous bike rentals on the main road like the lay main market right so you can go uh, anywhere if you don't want to take the recommendations which i am giving you and you can just inquire and uh, take accordingly this information is enough for you when you actually go next also if you need to hire a mechanic then there's an extra cost of cost for it the most important part which at times confuses and uh, make people dubious about uh, it is the routes you know where to ride what to ride what is the route where it is the internet is not working the offline map isn't working you know when you're riding okay i cannot take out the physical map and all that the first route is the easiest that is from manali uh, to leh and then back so the route is going to be like you know from delhi you're going to pass to manali then sarchu pass leh uh le yeah khardungla then nubra valley kargil shrinagar delhi and back you know your journey is covering uh, distance covered like that and the distance covered approximately here would be 2569 kilometers so that's the route uh, one you can take the second will be shrinagar to le and then you are coming back right so this will be like uh, jalandhar jammu shrinagar kargil le you're going to cover uh, karu sarchu then manali and then you go back to delhi this distance will gonna be approximately 2295 kilometers uh, again i'm giving a uh, uh, heads up here avoid the seasons of snow amarnath yatra uh, july to august uh, as the road uh, you know towards this route will be covered uh, with the numerous checks in the post and of course avoid uh, riding a bike in snow because it's particularly and dangerous then you have delhi to leh and back so some people actually drive from delhi so this goes uh, same you know as i mentioned and approximately it would be like 2022 kilometers so again you're going to delhi manali sarchu you'll pass le khardungla nubra so that's the entire route you're going to take for the next route now if you want to do only le to le right because uh, it's not kind of a spiky circuit you know when you actually cover five six places and you come back to kaza if you really wanted to know that routes and about the spiky so here's a card right you can click there but unlike that le ladakh you need to come back to le right like you you cannot actually there's no circle or a circuit here so the route becomes a little tricky and then you need to decide from where you're starting up right so if you really wanted to cover uh, only le to le so the route will be le khardungla then you'll go to hundar then bishkit nubra valley pangong lake okay changla pass sumuvari lake thangla magnetic hill right hall of fame you're going to cover you'll come back to le you'll have a lot of time for sightseeing and le market and staying up there and take a flight back to your destination If you're on a bike trip uh, for around uh, eight to fifteen days, right? Then the points which we have discussed are fair enough, you know, uh, for the homestays and campsites. So you're gonna experience a lot of beautiful homestays and campsites, a thrill for the adventure seekers and the travelers all around. 
so nothing to worry you'll have the best experience of the ladakhi culture the warm welcome the dances maybe the festivals of ladakh local food right and the point to notice is that the maximum of the restaurants and the food joints are vegetarian so, so sometimes it's like a mix of eggs also but uh, the food joints are vegetarian and you'll have uh, they don't they don't have a lot of uh, non veg food and all you are a hardcore non vegetarian fan and you eat uh, non veg food the little disappointment uh, meant for you like every every hook and corner you won't find you may find uh, but good news for vegans uh, is that you have a fresh uh, vegan restaurant uh, in the lee market and it's a famous one so you can relish your vegan dishes out there also Now the cost of the homestay uh, to stay up uh, in uh, Leh Ladakh will gonna range from 600 to 2500 uh, per person. Now during the pandemic it may have a slight increase in the budget so make sure that you check before but otherwise you're gonna gonna get a good uh, in somewhere around like 600 uh, to 2500 uh, rupees per person and that's also depending on the kind of room which you are taking you know uh, the rooms in the campsite they're well equipped with the basic amenities and they have attached bathroom as well. One important factor, please note, guys, if you are traveling, be a responsible traveler, as I always say. And Leh Ladakh region ha- faces uh, water issues. There's like a lot of water scarcity there. Okay, so save water as much as you can uh, wherever you are staying in a homestay or a campsite or a hotel. They majorly rely on solar panels and solar energy for hot water and electricity. Thus, uh, try to save Mother Earth as much as you can because it's a it's a tough terrain for people and for locals it's really tough to manage uh, the lifestyle there or uh, respecting that uh, please be a responsible traveler a pro tip petrol pumps are the most crucial thing when it comes to the bike riders and bike travelers particularly to the ladakh region the region has less number of petrol pumps and uh, thus it is recommended that you need to refill the uh, tank whenever wherever you get an opportunity and always carry an extra fuel tank uh, or the jerry cans uh, with you if you're going to an uh, secluded destination and if you tend to actually deviate yourself from uh, the route mentioned and uh, have some adventure If you're taking a route from Srinagar or you're driving from Srinagar to Leh, then the dependability on the jerry cans uh, becomes crucial uh, because there's, you may not find a lot of petrol pumps. So you get a tank full at Srinagar, and the next stop would be uh, Nagpal for the petrol. Then Gandharwal on the route, and you have two petrol pumps out there. Get a refill at Kargil also because the next is Khalsi, and uh, then it is a smooth ride to Leh. From Leh onwards, make sure that you're carrying extra fuel with you because uh, you will get one at Biscuit. then karu and uh, thansing if you're on the manali leh route there are four petrol pumps get a tank full at manali later you'll have thandi 110 km from manali the next one is in karu 30 km from leh uh, city and it is almost 350 km from a single petrol pump so hence you have to depend on the fuel which you carry since then from them in the last it's a pro tip for the first timers and for the multi runners and the riders acclimatization is super important even if you're first timer or you have been there for multiple times so when you're planning a ride especially uh, to leh ladakh region and the high passes you must know everything about acclimatization it's super important the high altitude of ladakh often gives you the visitors acute mountain sickness that's called as ams therefore you need plenty of rest before you kick start your journey Uh, on the bike or otherwise all right you need to exercise well as well as proper nutrition is important and don't overeat or dehydrate your body acclimatize to such heights with proper oxygen and breathing techniques you can do breathing techniques like uh, fire breath and certain pranayams if you want to know more please comment down and gonna let you know the higher you go up in the mountains the more it will be lack of oxygen so acclimatization becomes a basic necessity and an essential requirement for the successful leh ladakh bike tour for everyone uh you can actually carry an oxygen cylinder if you have some claustrophobic uh, situations or a bronchitis issue but however i feel the oxygen cylinders are not required because if you take a proper rest uh, during acclimatization and you do the breathing exercise and all i think it will gonna work and uh, it will be a great journey for your people ahead any suggestions or anything uh, or if, even if you have been to uh, leh ladakh before you can comment down below and let me know your experience and share the love and happiness and experience of life together i'm coming up with uh, a very important uh, video next uh, i think to this is about nfts don't miss it out coming up with a lot of videos about learning content information facts tips and tricks about all what you should know what's going on in the world of travel learning and a lot more Before I sign off, thank you so much for staying with me. Hit the notification button, smash it hard, subscribe to the channel, share love and information as much as you can to the people. The whole idea is about information sharing, the right information, content learning for you and for me. If you love to read, read the books, 
get them from amazon i'm giving the link in the description here and let me know uh, how do you find my books and work if you also wanted to order some handmade artwork you can check the link which is there in the description and let me know how do you like it i see you next time until then namaste thank you so much